other there. Trapped on the planet, and the planet's energy source is removed. Uh, Prophet tells both Nan and Guardian to do whatever they want, that they have about 2,000 years before the planet is able to accumulate enough energy to strike back, to actually destroy them all, uh, as it originally wanted to do. So, the next uh, 900 years, it's more or less battles while uh, Prophet, he starts to go into that mindset where he only sees the big picture and not the small picture of things and that's why I don't really have too much detail about these general areas because uh, following his footsteps I really didn't get this way. Oh, Guardian learns that he's actually <coughs> good with math so he's able to do tactics very well. He's like a tactician expert. He's very good at, you know, leading people and figuring out what's the best way to have minimum amount of casualties. Now, this is the point where uh, Destiny discovers necromancy. He, what he does is he realizes that some people even spam at work. stuff by the alteration of the soul and the essence. There's a lot more of that in the summary that I created myself, uh, but you know the exact details on how that works doesn't really relate. I kind of made that up on the spot because uh, just to get that when I first I how it worked, I did Prophet's point of view, and he really doesn't know much about the necromancy stuff. So, I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's uh, just a manipulation of the soul and the uh, essence. Like I said, if you wanna read that rough, rough, rough draft that I kinda put together, trying to attempt to put it together, uh, email me at a n i m. Give me suggestions and all that, or just email me on YouTube if you have a YouTube account. Because you can send me a message, I'll check it whenever. Anyways, back to the story. So, then towards the end of this war, uh, about 900 years into it, uh, uh, Destiny's, he's working on his and all that from when they were alive. So basically smart zombie skeleton creature things. That was a project he was working on and Guardian knew that if that project got completed that would be the end of it. So Guardian did it all out nothing, surrounded uh to do it to be a battle because you know the both the powerful in their own respects. And this is where we first learn Guardian's fighting style because this is the first time he has ever participated in any combat besides knocking out uh, the Prophet at the very beginning of uh, almost a thousand years ago. Anyways, uh, so you do show he can manipulate time in a way. 
So, um, whenever a fist is flying at him or a spell that is should be undodgeable, he can warp himself using time and space, making basically making him non-existent or you know the weird bends that you see on the matrix and well kind of smoke he can turn away and a single scratch and he hurts a lot of uh injuries on destiny but the most unique Thing, which is what defeats Destiny in the end is all the fireballs that just look like they've vanished within like a few minutes later magically appeared out of nowhere as if they were to do time. The idea of travel between magic and because in other dimensions time works differently, it speeds up faster, slower, or distance works. So it gives the first idea of being able to go travel between dimensions, which can be very interesting in the story if actually incorporated. It doesn't have to be incorporated, but it could be. And this uh, lets Guardian defeat uh, Destiny without once using his own spell, just using hand to hand combat and using time to manipulate location of the spells that have already been casted by Destiny and put it in Destiny's way to where Destiny gets hit by them. And that ends up being the end of the without one saying a single scratch.